the Rockies are right over there. Don't just go to the conference. Go and see the Rocky Mountain National Park. Go hiking up at Bear Lake or something. Don't do what I did, which is just to come for the conference. Go and see the area. All right, hello everyone. My name is Ali Almutawa. So uh, my talk's name is colon dot dot dot. And so I was supposed to show every use case of colons and ellipses and C++, but for those who were here yesterday night, you know, you'd imagine my, the look on my face when I saw the first talk yesterday. And so I had to come up with something different really quick. And so instead we're gonna have to, we're gonna look at how many dots we can put in a single C++ line of code. All right, so for the setup, we have a function that takes an auto uh, parameter, and then we have void function f where in the comment here, this is where we're gonna put our line. So first of all, I have a global function because I want to be able to call it using the global namespace, colon, colon, without anything. So that's already four dots. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put a lambda in the middle, uh, a range for loop, that's obvious, right? A switch statement, because it has labels, k0, default, Template, a Vriatic template, so that counts, right? We can also have a Vriatic argument uh, list. C style, var args, you know, it still counts. Um, okay, so we're gonna do, <laughs> it's a dot, isn't it? <laughs> and so we can uh, do a binary fault expression over the dot star operator to get this, right? So dot dot star dot 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 dot, dot star. <laughs> right, so this is what it looks like, kind of. Um, we can return a dot zero. Uh, so I'm returning a size t, so I'm accessing a namespace, did colon colon. Let's see. So I can do a variadic capture, except that these points go on the other side, right? I can do a variadic init capture, except that points go before the equal sign. I'm just kidding. It goes actually before the name itself. <laughs> okay, why are they opposite, by the way? That doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna make a, uh, um, I'm gonna capture a name S equal to a lambda expression, an immediately invoked lambda expression, with a type B that inherits from a bunch of types, right? So inheritance, I'm using two dots there. Uh, of course, uh, access specifiers, they have two dots as well. I can use bit fields. I can use a, a member initializer list. And ternary operators, right? So that's also two set of points. Labels, who forgot about those, right? Did you know you can have attributes on labels? So shout out to Ben Dean, he helped me with this. So I can have, even though it's an unrecognized attribute, it still counts. I can have an empty set of parentheses, but anything can go inside these set of parentheses. So ellipses, colon, uh, the scope resolution operator, a dot, even a dot star, right? Okay, so I can have a C++26 variadic uh, friend expression, whatever that's called. Right? And since we're doing C++ 26, I can have a, what is that called? A, a, a pack indexing, uh, uh, a using declaration, or using uh, whatever, type def. Okay, so for this next trick, I need to define a type called op that defines a operator uh, brackets that takes a type. Now, back to my code, I can have a, I can inherit from op of these types and have a using d d d directive, whatever it's called, of this bracket operator. So a lot of dots there. So the way you would call this lambda expression is by having two structs, one inside, inside the other, you can have more, right? So I can invoke the lambda at the bottom line by having S2 and then passing a member reference of, of S1 and then a member reference of what's inside S1 and so on and so forth, right? So before we finish, who forgot about digraphs, <laughs> right? <laughs> So every set of brackets in here can be turned into less than colon. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>